Hi everyone. Um, so on November 22nd in 2014, uh, Tony, who suffered from schizophrenia, was having um, a mental health crisis and was out on the corner of 41st and Knight in Vancouver. Um, a white neighbor decided to call the police on Tony. Um, and so when the police arrived, um, it was at that point in time when it happened, discovered that within less than a minute, um, the police had killed him. Um, it took about a year and a half, maybe almost two years, for information to finally come to light for the family around what happened and why it happened. Um, and it happened, basically, the Crown um, did not uh, ch charge the police officers involved in the case, Andrew Peters and Trevor Letourneau. Um, instead, what happened was a BC coroner's inc inquest to find out what, why Tony was killed or what led up to the moments of his death. And it was discovered that the police actually killed him um, within 10 seconds of arrival. So it was even faster than what we had learned uh, when the news first broke out. Um, Tony's family was devastated. Um, they were unable to find answers for the longest time, and even to this day, now that they know the names of the police officers, there's nothing that can be done about it. Um, and so they feel quite a sense of injustice to what happened to their brother. Uh, Tony was a Vietnamese Chinese man. Um, he was very friendly, described as like very um, easygoing, and had been known in the system as having uh, schizophrenia and had in police interactions before. Um, and so in this case, when Tony was needed help, he actually was killed instead. And what we've learned since um, is that this is not how people with mental health issues should be supported or lack thereof. Um, and I think learning about Soli, Soliman and learning about the stories of other people it really shows how this is like an institutional pattern. It's not just a one-off thing. It's happened to many people and it shouldn't be happening. Um, and I just also want to add some context that in 2014, um, that was the year Michael Brown was also killed. That was the year, the same day Tamir Rice was also killed um, and in America. And so it was all, all of it is still very connected to police violence around the world. Um, and the injustice that many, many families and many, many individuals face globally.